I want to share one tip or tricks uh, to customize uh, Power BI theme uh, to add your desired fonts. Uh, the reason I have that is you left is uh, if you have the Power BI desktop. So my uh, Power BI desktop is this version 2.119. And if you want to insert our text box, for example, so I can put this, I can put size as uh, bigger. So, but what you can see here, uh, you only have a quite a limited font you can choose. Uh, so well, what can you do is if you want to add some of your uh, more uh, the preferred fonts, uh, because if you come to, let's see, I'm using Windows. Uh, if you come to Windows folder, go to the font. Uh, you can see here uh, is a lot of uh, fonts, uh, but you are not able to choose that for uh, your Power BI report in desktop. Uh, so what can we do uh, to try to add those uh, additional font? Uh, so uh, what I want to share with you is uh, some steps uh, can help you. Uh, we, uh, we will need to edit this uh, default thing for Power BI. So first, step one is uh, we will export the default field theme and get this uh, theme from downloaded uh, templates uh, and check uh, the, your, uh, you need to prepare your fonts. Uh, we can just uh, pick up uh, one uh, the, uh, the normal fonts, uh, but not in the list uh, for sample. Uh, but if you have some customized or purchased fonts, uh, just have that uh, TTF file ready. Uh, and then this way we will modify the JSON uh, structure for the same and then add your new fonts then import your customized the same back to uh, the Power BI. So let, let's do this uh, together. Uh, so first uh, step is uh, how you can uh, export uh, your uh, default same. So well, where is the same? Same is on the view. So if you come to here, all those are the same. Uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to uh, try to export those. Uh, but the tricky thing is uh, uh, you can find is uh, first is uh, here the, is gray out on the save current theme. Uh, that is uh, uh, it's just a strange. Uh, so if you want to export, that is the step one, you need to go to the file and then go to export. You can see here is the Power BI templates. Uh, so this is my just uh, uh, untitled. So I can just uh, make this export. And you can see here, uh, uh, you, you can uh, make uh, some uh, the comments is uh, export for adding my new additional Then you, you can go to this uh, download, so you, uh, you can uh, save that uh, at what you uh, have to do. So maybe I save this uh, PBI, same default. I need find a folder to save that. I uh, create a new folder for PBI. Then you can put that uh, here. And then we can now starting to go to this uh, folder to see your file. So this is the file. So by default, it is our, uh, the PBI templates. Uh, so you remember is your uh, Power BI repo file is PBIX. So this is the PBI T. Uh, the one thing is uh, the tip thing is uh, you need to change this uh, from PBI T. Like is uh, you analyze the Excel, so let's these are actual some compressed thing. Change the extension to zip uh, first, uh, and then let's uh, extract this. Extract to here. Then you go to our 
extract the folder. So uh, let's uh, analyze those uh, folder. Is uh, uh, we can start to uh, go to now. We already get our phone the thing, uh, and let's uh, go to repo static resource share the resource based the thing. So you just uh, keep double click go to uh, the final uh, the file. This file actually is uh, what's the uh, the JSON uh, file we will try to analyze. So uh, let's open this uh, with some editor. So that is uh, the file I, I can uh, add. So I can make this uh, left close. Now you can see it's our kind of this uh, uh, the file. So uh, let, let's uh, uh, look at, let's see, so JSON. Oh, I can open this notepad. Yeah. So that is uh, our uh, quite uh, the, the difficult to, to see, but uh, what we will uh, try to uh, analyze is, uh, is uh, let's find some way to uh, open this uh, with a JSON friend, uh, friendly. So uh, let me try to put find JSON. Add something that can help us uh, explain those uh, JSON. Let me open the file. In uh, Visual Studio Code, actually, you can uh, install those uh, uh, JSON and with the format uh, prettier. Uh, then you can make the format like this. That is uh, uh, for you to read JSON uh, the, in the better way. Uh, so scroll down. So this is the JSON we, we have. And what we are going to look at uh, is the uh, the file is uh, that have the visual style. So let's uh, go to the area that having the visual style. Here, so you see visual style, and they have those uh, stars. Well, what we need to go is uh, we need to uh, come to this uh, word wrap. Uh, after this uh, word wrap, uh, to is within uh, these uh, uh, the parents. That let's uh, make a change. So let's uh, start to write down something. What you uh, can follow is like is uh, uh, font size. Let's see before this uh, 12 font family. If you uh, want to look at, let's uh, go to some font. So that is not in the Power BI before. So they don't have this uh, bell empty. So let's use this uh, bio MT uh, as our uh, edit things. We are putting here. So that is uh, our font size, and uh, that definitely is uh, you, you can uh, add some uh, color with uh, JSON's uh, uh, format, is a solid. Nothing need to be put here. Then just to ensure we have uh, the correct the this uh, open and the close uh, parents, and then this uh, we save uh, 
our file and then change to uh, see if you are changed to uh, the uh, one own. So let's uh, back to my file. So this one is just uh, I changed this. Uh, I uh, I can put this as uh, my uh, the the changed thing and repackage JSON. So let me copy this and go to the temp PPI. So this one is uh, I call this uh, my new fonts. Then come to here. Let's uh, go to here. Browse or save. You can see now you can directly go to this uh, JSON file. Arrow, there was a problem arrow, the syntax is valid, missing required property name using value color. So let's uh, do the troubleshooting. Yeah, let's uh, open this in the text. When you come to here, you, know, you see for JSON, you need to have one, uh, this uh, uh, the comma. So let me save that. It's JSON. Let's uh, try to load this again. Still arrow. Let's do this again. So I make this just open in the editor. Sometimes uh, you may find this uh, may, may be the end of the line and using the Visual Studio give you some strange uh, results. So let, let me uh, try to do this uh, um, text editor directly. So my customize save. So I uh, save that to our JSON first, UDF8. And what we are finding is uh, we are going to uh, come to here. So go to the style. Uh, let me see the part is uh, we first you need to find the style, visual style. So let's uh, find that is uh, here. And then visual style is uh, we should go to the last uh, star, uh, and after this uh, star, we will have uh, some definition. So like this uh, word wrap, uh, we will add this uh, our the JSON font size 12, and then font family. Say file empty. Color. Oh, from the size I may forgot is uh, one close. Color. Solid. So if you have uh, the confidence, uh, just like me, is uh, you can just uh, edit uh, this kind of the this uh, the JSON directly. But just uh, try to count is uh, how many uh, those uh, kind of those uh, parents uh, branches. So one close for this and another close for this one. So I suppose these are now correct. Let me save and try to load. i customized. OK, so no issue. File successful edit. So let's see so if we uh, have that is uh, where is mine. So this is current, this is accessible. So let me insert. Yeah, you can see here, 
your font is uh, coming. So this is uh, your current. So uh, the same access. Uh, so this is the default. So you load, and this is the coming from the uh, your uh, customized same, and your uh, your font is uh, coming. So now this is the bio empty. So as long as you have our font uh, in your Windows system or in your Linux system, you can use this way to uh, add this. Uh, but before closing, is uh, let me just back to check my privacy way because uh, using the, uh, the text editor, just the uh, Notepad, is a little noisy. It's uh, it, as long as you you are quite familiar with JSON, you can do that. Uh, but my uh, let me see is uh, what's the reason for this one has uh, some issue. So let me see from my part font side. Here is one one one. Oh, you can see here. Here has oh here I didn't have. This one. So now, I think it's uh, maybe I uh, we use this and name. So you can give this our customized name. So my new because if you don't change this, is uh, the display name is still the the other one. So my new font. So let's add uh, just as a distinguish. Let's add our another font. So this one, let me find our interesting font to add. Maybe it's, uh, I add one, yeah, Princeton. So our short one, so terminal. So let me add the terminal. This uh, definitely is not in RBI before. So let me try again. So I save the days and go back, back to Power BI. And now let me see my another one. Load it. There's no terminal. Let's try to load. Browse this one. Oh, wow. so success. So that means it's, uh, I, uh, I haven't uh, for, uh, I forgot one, uh, the, uh, the kind of those uh, comma. So now you can see current same with uh, your customized name in JSON. So let's see my terminal Yeah, here. So now I can have our terminal font. So, I, I hope it's always this way. Uh, you have some idea is uh, how to uh, add your font into the Power BI. So if using this way, you have a limited uh, font that can be used. Uh, and I hope is you can enjoy uh, to create uh, the more uh, the beautiful uh, Power BI repo. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.